and welcome to tonight's live stream at 7.30. It's a tactical pad tutorial with me, Liam Andrews, and today we are working on set moves for free kicks. Now, in the other tactical tutorials where we've been working on set moves, I've just been showing you some of the, th some of the examples that I've got, but today is a little bit special because I am going to show you a few that I've got but I want to hear from you guys on some of the ideas that you have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a few examples that I've, I've done so far. And then what I'm going to do is at the, when I've done all of the examples that I've, so, uh, I've done so far, I'm going to ask you guys to break down exactly how you want me to do some other um, free kick set moves. So, um, and then when you've done it, um, and you're all happy with it, and we play it, everyone in the comment section can start rating how good they thought that idea was. Uh, Hadley, welcome to the stream, buddy. I hope you're good. Uh, Jacob, welcome to the stream. And Jackson, welcome to the streams. They are the ones that have commented so far. Henry, Jose, welcome to the stream as well. I hope you're good. Um, so, let's get started with... Um, a few of the set moves that I've been working on and then you guys get your chance right at the end to help me create even more. Uh, just before we start as well, just to let you know, we are live on Facebook and YouTube. So um, either at the top or the bottom, depending on if you're on YouTube or Facebook, you can actually share this live stream whilst we are live. Um, so that allows you to, um, if you if you know anyone that's really passionate about um, setting up some really good um, free kick routines, whether you're a football coach or a futsal coach, um, just, uh, just share it to them or share it to any groups that you're in. Um, and it'll be fantastic to see loads of people's fantastic creative ideas. So let's have a little look. Um, I do love routines as well, by the way. And this is something that I'm going to be doing with my players a lot more after COVID-19 finishes. To get them to come up with some of their own creative ideas. So let's have a little look. I'm going to turn the speed down a little bit. Um, so let's have a little look in 2D and then we'll also have a look in 3D. Okay, have another little look. Okay, so let me talk to you first and foremost how this works. Um, how, how um, obviously, not, not how it works because you can obviously see how it's worked. Hi Ruben, um, I hope you're good buddy. Welcome to the stream. Um, let me break it down of why it works. So, we're creating a... Um, a triangle shape here and we've brought our keeper out here because at any given point if this doesn't work we can just pass it back to the keeper and he can shoot okay uh, this player here is trying to hold them back so they're not just trying to high press straight away now he's moving away that's really important that he moves away because it drags these two instead of just everyone just cramping up and just high pressing it's dragging these two out a little bit so this person is going to be marking here and this person is going to be marking here. Now, as this player is going to high press, he's playing another quick wall pass. And, and this guy was checking, he came back, that creates that little bit of space for the back post option. He's checking, he comes to receive it. And then he's created that little bit of space. So let's have a little look in 3D. Let me know what you guys thought of that free kick routine. If you are new to Tactical Pad though, look at the crowd. They do need to put some uh, spectators in the crowd though. Because uh, it's looking a bit plain at the moment. So let's have a little look at this one. Little check. Comes to receive it. Bang. Golazzo! Okay, so guys, remember, start thinking some of the ideas that you want to do, because right at the end of the stream, I'm going to ask some of you guys um, some of the creative ideas um, that you've got, and we're going to try them at the end, okay? So that is uh, number one done. Let's open up another project. 
Uh, we're going to be doing four today. So this is our second one now. Okay, so let's break it down. Show you one more time. Okay, so let me break it down now. So this player, what he's basically doing is he's going to block, okay? So that's him blocking here. Now this player was marking our red player. Uh, I will change the kit color actually. So this player was marking this player, but he dragged him out. But he's also blocking this person, so he's not going to go and shut shut down so quickly. And then that's created the space for here. Now, if for any reason this player here doesn't come in and he stay uh, and he stays a bit closer, or or he stays in the mid way of the ball, you can flick it over the top, and he then goes to volley. Also, watch this player now. He's in front of the goalkeeper's eye line. There's a block. He's coming round the back, getting ready to receive the ball. And this player is um, I've actually done. I couldn't do the animation anymore. Any more delayed, but this player technically should stay in front of the goalkeeper for a bit longer because he wants to try and block the initial. Uh, just before he shoots, he gets out the way. He gets to the back post. He goes to them volley, and he's there to tap it in unless it goes in himself. But he's also blocking the vision of the, the goalkeeper and gets him a little bit more confused. Okay, let's go and have a look, little look in 3D now. What do you guys think of this routine? Goes to block. Plays it through. Golazo! Right, any comments from any of you guys? Alejandro, sorry I'm late. I was doing the treadmill. No problem at all, Alejandro. No problem at all. I hope you're good. Okay, let's watch this one again. So remember, he's going to block. He wants to stop him shutting down the, the player here if it, if it, if it does return. But also, he wants to draw this player towards him. Because if he plays it into the middle, it's a shot at the front post. So between these two, they might get a little bit worried. That creates the space here. Go! Now, he could also shoot at the front post. But just for this video, we've gone that way. Okay, so let's have a little look. One last time, and then we're going on to our third routine. Okay, that's that's it for the 3D. Just have a little look at the crowd. Woo! Well, there's no crowd, but stadium. Okay, 2D. Uh, open project. Set three. Right, I do apologize as well. I for totally forgot to change the kit in the last one, but there should be no kit clash here. Right, animations, let's go. Show you one more time. Go! Uh, Ruben said it was good. Thank you, Ruben. I hope you're good as well. And guys, remember, keep using these as inspiration of what you're going to do with your free kicks. Because at the moment, uh, whoever's getting really active in those comments, I'm going to ask for you guys to give me some ideas of how we're going to create some more uh, futsal free kicks. So let me break down this one for you. 
First of all, number five and number two for the red are going to block. They want to take them out of the game. Then, that allows them... Um, this is actually a chip over the top. This isn't a pass down the middle. So you might be thinking, well, why is uh, yellow number five not intercepted that? This is actually a chip which sets up a volley for number three. And then hopefully, you've got a player with some techers. So he's blocked there. Great movement. So from being here, that little rotation of finding the space, they've blocked off. Because remember, number three would normally be high press in that. But because number two's blocking, number five's blocking, these two are marking the front anyway. And there you go. Right, let's have a little look in 3D. I hope I've given you guys some creative... Um, options to think about and remember in a minute I'm gonna ask you guys for some inspiration for some more ideas okay let's have a little look in 3d see how they did the little chip they don't that you can't see the chip on 2d but in 3d you can which is so so cool little dink over the top volley and go! Okay, any comments from anyone? Uh, Ruben said he's good, and thank you. Good, Ruben. Glad you're here, buddy, and I hope you are thinking of some creative ideas as well. Okay, watch one more time, and we're going to go on to our fourth and final one, and then it's going to be up to you guys to put some of your ideas in the comment section below. Now, as I'm going in to the last... Um, uh, when I'm going into the last one, put some of your ideas in the comment section so that I, when I finished, I can go straight in and look at some of your ideas straight away. Okay, let's go. Okay, so that is it for that one. Start typing, guys. Get in some of those creative ideas in and let me know some of the set moves for free kicks that you would like me to put in this stream right now. So I'm now going into the last uh, set move that I've got here. And then it's going to be up to you guys to see if you can create your own one. Okay, let's have a little look here. Okay, let's go. Show you one more time. Okay, so let me break this one down. So, number four is coming on the blind side of number four and number three for yellow. So he's coming on the blind side so he can receive the ball here. And what three and five are doing is they're trying to block because number three will go and try and high press here and try and shut the ball from number four. And number five will also want to try and high press. Now, number two's, um, number two's job is to go and high press and tackle number two. But at the moment, he's no danger to us. Now, number five is now making a forward run. Because what we want to do now, number two will would normally in a game, I haven't put that in, in, this, uh, in this one, but two would normally come out here, and that is going to create an even bigger gap to find number five. Now, what you could argue is the keeper could um, work out that that's going to happen. He could come across. But if the pass is really fast and enough pace on it, it should be very, very difficult for uh, the keeper to come out and intercept. However, with all set moves, like I said before, they're not foolproof. They are just an idea that could work. So they're blocking, create, one, two, and to the back post. Okay, so that's, let's have a little look. Um with the 3d we're very very close to having our first uh first one for, for you guys uh jackson has also written uh an idea so jackson i'm gonna go with yours first when this is finished um so you guys if you are watching now send me what you would like me to create 
and um, I will create your free kick routine. And let's see how creative we can get, uh, how creative we can be within this. So let's have a little look at 3D. And then we're gonna go with Jackson's to start with because he's already let me know his. And if any of you guys have got some ideas, let me know. Good. Okay, so remember what we said. This player here is coming on the blind side, so these guys are not gonna have as much time to react, but when they do get to react, this player that would normally go in high press is being blocked. This player um, cannot high press because the free kick hasn't been taken yet. And this player that would normally go in high press, this person is now being blocked as well. And he's using this, using this block as a bit of a, as a bit of a distraction to the fact that actually he's gonna go to the back post. And there you go. Okay, so, right, I'm gonna now read Jackson's comment and I am going to attempt to try and create what he has asked me to do. So no pressure at all, Jackson. And let's see if we can create what you uh, have put in your message. So he said, to play short pass back to keeper, pass to outlet, then outlet, of the box then back post goal okay let me have a little look so first of all i need to do our players because obviously because this is not a saved one um i have to get the teams up so jackson you're gonna have to be really really fast in your comments because I may have to ask you a few questions. So the first question is, where are we taking the free kick from? Are we playing further back? Are we playing close to the goal? Or are we out wide? Let me know as quick as you can in the comment section, Jackson. You have to type super quick. And I'm just going to set these out whilst you're typing. I'm not putting these in the direction of where they should go, by the way, Jackson. I'm just putting these guys out here. And you let me know where you want me to put these players. Has anyone else got any ideas of what you'd like me to create as well? Um, I'm super excited to see some of the ideas come into life from you guys. Do -do 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 -do. Do, 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 do. Okay, so Jackson, just by the corner flag. Okay, so about here will do. Um, so Jackson has said to play short pass back to the keeper. So what we'll do is we'll keep the keeper here. Um, I'm assuming this is what he wants. Um, to play short, pass to the keeper, pass to the outlet, then outside of the... To play short to the keeper, pass to the outlet, then outside of the box, then back post. Okay, I think I know what he means. I think he means here. Which means we'll have a player here, we'll have a player here, player mark in there, and a player mark in here. Uh, Jackson, if this is wrong, make sure your comments are nice and fast. Okay, yep, yeah, that's what he said. Okay, so uh, let's break this down then. So, animation. This is Jackson's idea. You guys, let me know in the comments below which routine you would like me to try. So Jackson goes here, here, he's now going to go and high press, he's now going to go and try and press, they're going to try and push out their lines, sorry, he's going to be here. Marking number five. Play. Into number two. Number five is going to drop. Uh, 
outlet, then outside of the box, then back post goal. So let me see if that's here. And number four comes in. I think this is what Jackson means. Ball comes in here. Player goes to shut down. Ball go oh. Ball goes in here. And goal. Jackson, have I created the free kick that you imagined in your head? Let me know in the comment section below. Was that your idea? Um, did I create it properly? And let's have a little look. If there's anything you want me to change, Jackson, I can change it. Not a problem. But is this what you envisaged when you said about your routine? And what I'm going to do as well... I'm waiting for Jackson's response to see if that was how he uh, how he envisaged it. And uh, you guys, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of this free kick routine. And also, start typing the free kick set moves that you want to create. So I can create another one for you. Fantastic idea from Jackson. I'm not sure if it's the um, his exact idea. He will let me know in a minute in the comment section. But let's have a little look on 3D. And if this is how Jackson wanted it, I know he's going to be absolutely buzzing that he gets to see his idea in real life. Come into live. And then bang. Come on, Jackson. Right, my phone is just playing up a second. Yes, Jackson said that's exactly what he was looking for. Good, good, good. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to see if I can add to this to see if I can make this, um, make this free kick a little bit more realistic. Uh, to a game situation because the only thing Jackson is a fantastic idea, but we need to add more layers to our onion So let's go back to the first frame. So right here We need to be able to create the space in order to create this end shape So this is the end shape that we want to create and that is absolutely fine for me personally I want to try and use, I want to take number five out of the game. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to get him to block number five. And this five comes to receive the ball. Okay. Then uh, number three now gets ready to come to the back post. And that is how then five then receives the ball. So have a look. Here, there, here. Then into here. He stays there. Number three. No. Oh. Number three goes there instead. Um. Number five. Oh. Number five. Stay where you are. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Okay, let's see how this works. Because obviously I've tried to change things around. Okay, so Jackson, can you see how we've... Um, you see how we've just made it a little bit more rep match realistic. If you just go from here to there, number five might go and try and shut down really aggressively. 
But what we've had to do is number three's had to block first. That little block there gives number five the opportunity to receive the ball. Of course I've allowed them to run, but normally I wouldn't allow that because they would have been blocked. Now number three, obviously, um, has now changed position. So he went to block, he came to the post, he's now come blindside of number two. So number two's thinking, wow, this player moves a lot. By the time he goes to shut down, number four has come out of nowhere. Number two has just lost his head. And that is why Jackson's free kick would now work in a match situation. So massive well done, Jackson. Let's have a little look of your new routine in 3D. There, block, received, out, in, finish. Jackson, are you happy with that? Are you happy with the extra little layer that we added in? Guys, what did you think in the comments section? Let me know in the comments below. Um, and what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to go and see if there's any more comments, which there doesn't seem to be at the moment. Um, <laughs> it's going to be very hard for me to... Uh, create any more corners if you guys aren't giving me some answers come on jackson gave me a really good one don't be shy guys get some comments in and let me know what routine you can think of and i will put them in uh this stream right now so we've just created jackson's have a little look this was all Created by Jackson. A fantastic creativity. Uh, sorry, a fantastic creative idea from Jackson. This could easily be used in a game. And I must admit, Jackson, because I'm so impressed with it, I'm going to save it. I am going to save it right now into my PC. right now because of how fantastic that idea was so jackson massively proud of you fantastic hadley if you're still with us come on give me some good ideas some of you must have some brilliant ideas to pass on let me know what your ideas are i really really want to know what your ideas are for the um for any free kick ideas. Mario Patricio. Hi and welcome to the stream buddy. Uh, Alejandro said it's good. Come on Mario. Come on Alejandro. Give me a set move on a corner. And I will create your idea. Come on guys. There's so many of you watching right now. Give me an idea. And I will create that idea for you so i am going to just go and put the uh, the new players in um so let me know where you want to take the free kick from and how you want me to do the free kick and i will quickly set up a new project whilst i'm waiting for your comments so come on guys and be nice and quick get those ideas in Come on, Mario. You must have some good ideas. Hadley, where are you at? Alejandro. Ruben. Come on. There must be some really good ideas from some of you. Whew. <laughs> What ideas can you guys think of? Okay, we're all about ready. Has anyone typed quick enough to let me know some of the ideas that they have? Come on, guys. Come on. Give me some ideas to play around with. I'm desperate to hear some of your ideas. Jackson's given me a fantastic one. 
Okay, so Hadley said he's got an idea, but it's hard to say. Okay, Hadley, just take it step by step and we'll create it. But be as quick as you can on the typing, okay? So first and foremost, Hadley, where do you want the free kick to be taken? Do you want it to be taken near the halfway line? Do you want it to be taken uh, close to the um, the 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 um, the goal? Sorry, the goal area. Do you want it to be out wide? Where do you want me to place the player? And see if you can break it down with me, and I'll try my very very best to see if I can understand your creative idea. Come on, Hadley. I'm relying on you now, buddy. Is there any ideas on ja uh, on YouTube? Jackson uh, Jackson said I haven't seen Isaac for a while. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame on that one, um, Jackson. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I agree with you. Haven't seen him in a while. Come on, Hadley. Where do you want the free kick to be taken? And what is your idea? And the rest of you that are watching right now, let me know in the comment section below what ideas would you like to see come to life and I will create that set move free kick for you. Okay, so... Come on, Hadley. Anyone on YouTube got any ideas yet? Jackson, could I create another one? If you've got the ideas, Jackson, send them my way, buddy. And I will happily see if I can create another idea for you. Come on, Hadley. Get those comments in the comment section. Let me know what this idea is. There's some there's been some brilliant brilliant ideas. Okay. Okay, so uh two players behind the ball. Sorry, two sorry. So two players behind the ball. So he's going to try and break this down for me as, as as easy as he can. What I'm going to do is go into animations as well. Come on, Hadley. Hadley's bi um, Hadley was a C13 World Cup player, by the way, so uh, I'm hoping some of his international futsal experience and playing for GB is going to help him come up with some really creative ideas. So come on then, Hadley, what have you got? Send me your idea and we will try and break it down for everybody. Whilst you're, you're typing as well, I know Jackson's brain is... Uh, is ticking. He, he's ready to send me some ideas. So as quick as you can, Hadley. Just as we're waiting as well, if you are new to Tactical Pad, you can create names. You can actually change your badge as well. So if I want to change my badge,
This is just an example, by the way. So I've just changed my badge. You can change your name as well. Is that a new version of the software? Um, I think there are newer versions of it because it always asks me to um, to update. But I'm not sure if that's just a standard thing or if this is the most updated version. I'm not sure. Um, I think there is more up-to-date versions, if I'm honest. Um, just as we're waiting for Hadley's idea as well, Team Squad, you can actually change here to your to the name of your players. Mm -hmm. Hadley just said he's going to send me a picture so it's easier to explain. Uh, shirt numbers and the positions that they play. So you can have goalkeeper, defender, wing, pivot, far, half, centre, pivot. Uh, the starter, the bib. And you can also have advanced mode. So you can start going to the skin tone. The weight, the height, the age, the shirt, which I think is quite cool. And you can even have the player's photo if you want to. I'm just waiting to hear from Hadley. Alejandro said he's right in one. Just one minute. Jackson, chip to the back post. Player try and go outside of the box, then pass it to the keeper. Then the other post, then play it to the edge of the box, then shoot. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jackson, the only reason I'm not going to do that one is if you chip it to the back post when it is a corner, the keeper, nine times out of ten, just catches it. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a fantastic idea. And it could potentially work. So here we go. There's a photo from Hadley. Oh dear. Uh... I'm actually really confused by your picture. Oh, hang on. Right, let me see if I can create this. I, I think I might have got it, Hadley. Right, so we've got two players here. A player here and a player here. So they're, they're defending a 2-2. And if this is right... Let me know if I've got this right, Hadley, okay? I'm not sure who he blocks, because it says blocks, but I'm not sure if he blocks here or here, or he just goes down the middle. Let's say he just goes here. This player comes out here. This player comes here. Actually. Uh, sorry, this player. I'm gonna say here, as he goes there. This player comes out here. I'm going to actually say he blocks there. And we have a shot. 
So, Hadley, let me know in the comments section below. Is that right? Have I got that right? Let's have a little look at what it looks like. Now, that's not too bad. I like it. I like it. What do you think, Hadley? Is that what you had in mind? Right, Alejandro has also written his, so we'll go to his next. And that will be the last one as well. Okay, Hadley, was that what you were looking for? I think it's a good idea. I think it's a good idea. I like it. Um, I just put the blocks in just because it added a bit more to it. Um, but let me know what you thought, Hadley. Was that your idea? Did we bring it to life? I tried my best to understand what you were trying to say. What did we bring your idea to life, Hadley? Let's have a little look at this in 3D as well. Come on, Hadley, get those comments in. Did we create your idea? Did we bring it to life? If not, what did we miss? Right, I am going to uh, read through Alejandro's com uh, his his idea as I'm going to respond. On the front post, does a forward run for a 1-2, then the person who receives play a through pass to the back post, who then runs about third, but then the person on the edge of the box overlaps. Then the person who has run on the back post lays him up and shoots. Oh, Alejandro, that's a complicated one to remember. <laughs> I will try and do my best. Yes, but it was very broken signal, but good. Okay, so let's have a little look at this again. Okay, so we have created Hadley's idea. Thank you very much, Hadley. And we are going to add that into our chamber set move six okay so we've got some we've got some recommendations in here you know Mario's just sent me one now Oh, he sent me a whole document. Jeez. Oh, no, he's, he sent me a tactical pad. Okay, that, that's helpful. Oh, no. Mario, it won't let me see what you put because my uh, my um, pass on my phone has ran out, so I can't see it. Oh, gutted. Mario, I can't actually see what you've put. How annoying is that? Because you sent it to me on WhatsApp. I'll tell you what, see if I can send that to myself and fit... Oh, no, I'm not going to be able to. Okay, let me see if I can create Alejandro's idea. Sorry, Mario. Okay, uh, Mario said he'll do it tomorrow and he'll send it to me. Okay, wicked. Okay, let's see if we can create Alejandro's before we go today. But I'm loving the fact that you guys are getting nice and creative. Sending me loads of ideas. Loving that. I am nervous about this one. I'm not sure if I fully understand what Alejandro wants. But we are going to give it a go. Alejandro, can you just let me know really quickly where we are taking the corner to? Is it out wide? Is it on the halfway line? Is it in front of the goal? 
Where do you want us to take the um, the corner? Sorry, the free kick, sorry. Good, I'm glad I brought I brought Hadley's to life. I'm buzzing about that. Okay, Alejandro. The person on the front post does a forward run. Alright, no worries, Mario. Thank you. Front post? Right, hang on. So there's someone on the back post and the front post. The person at the front post does a forward run, so he's going to come in here and receive the ball. Player 1 2. Who receives play through? Ah, right, Alejandro. It's a corner. Okay, okay. You do realize it's a free kick. It's a free kick tutorial. Did I say corner? Sorry. Okay, so. Oh, sorry. It's a corner free kick. Okay, so it's a corner free kick. So. Here. There. The person on the front post does a forward run for a 1-2. So he'll... So let's break this down in animations. First of all, they will be defending in a 2-2 formation. Or man for man. The player will come for a 1-2. Now my comments have decided to disappear. The person in the front post does a forward run for a 1-2. So we'll do that first and foremost. The ball comes in. Ball comes back. The only issue I have here, Alejandro, is how is it going to get to the back post from here? Um, let's play the one two. Oh, I'd say maybe he's here, which drags him out a little bit. No, sorry, he's there. He goes to block to get in the way. He makes that initial pass. Hang on, I think I know what he means, but... There. 
See, the thing is, from here, you're not going to find that back post. What I would suggest mm -hmm. for this to work... is for this player to come here. So as he blocks, he comes out. He lays him off. He shoots. Is that close enough to your idea, Alejandro? Because my only worry is, from that initial 1-2, I don't know how you'd find a diagonal because the keeper would come out and intercept it for one, and two, you've got players all cramped together in, in, the, uh, in the initial box. So let me know what you think of that one, guys. Come on, last word from Alejandro. Let's have a little look in 3D as well. Good, so let's break it down. So he's on the post, he's comes out he comes out really quickly, plays a 1 2. This player is now going to come out and this player is going to block. Then he lays it off with probably the sole of his foot, ready to smash in the back of the net. We are running out of time. So we've had some really, really good creative ideas today. Massive well done to every single one of you. I'm waiting for Alejandro just to comment one last time before we go. Um, but as I, as I, I'll just wrap this thing things up and if Alejandro does comment before we finish I will read out his comment so guys I just want to say a massive massive thank you to every single person that has come to today and also so impressed with some of your ideas today as well um, you should be really 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 proud of every single one of you uh, sorry sorry I'm really proud of every single one of you you should be really proud of yourself as well learning so many different things and also some of you creating your own idea so Alejandro Jackson and Hadley big up yourselves massive well done to every single one of you it takes a lot of guts to uh, try and create your own stuff um, and it's not easy at all so I love the ideas that you guys have given me today I hope you enjoyed some of my ideas as well and guys keep thinking of those ideas because you never know what tactical tutorial is coming up. Alejandro has finally uh, responded to us. He said, I got mixed up because you said it was a corner set piece. Ah, okay. So yeah, that, that's my fault. That's my fault. Okay, Alejandro, thank you very much for your idea, buddy. Thank you, every single person uh, that has come to today. Remember, training tomorrow at 4 o'clock. And we have more tactics at 7.30 tomorrow. But we're probably going to go and watch a game because I miss watching AMF Futsal and I know you guys do as well. So as much as I've loved the tactical tutorials, I'm just missing a bit of futsal. I really want to watch a game and I'm pretty sure you guys do too. So have a fantastic night and I'll see you at four o'clock for some more multi-move, um, which, which is our theme for this week. And I will pick an AMF game for tomorrow. Have a fantastic evening, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Let's go!